What's up friends? Right not here and today we're gonna to be looking at another I guess you'd call it a mock. However, it wasn't really designed by me. It was designed by JK Brickworks here. If you go to his website and you click on models, you scroll all the way down into the Wayback Machine here, you can see the Lego Discovery posted 12 years ago. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera with my arm here. And the Leonov, which I actually I built these. I did a review on them, I guess about January 1st or so of this year. But I have them upstairs on my shelf. You can see them in the background of probably my city updates when it does the monorail deal. But anyway, I also wanted to build this Dawn of Man deal that he posted 12 years ago. So, if you go to his older site, which is True Dimensions, I believe. I think it's still up somewhere. You gotta search around for it, but it's got more pictures than this. So, what I did is I downloaded them all because this is one of the few that he didn't actually post instructions for. And I kind of went through on MLCAD and rebuilt this model to figure out what pieces I need and try and make it make sense. Because he never takes a picture of the back, so it's hard to see. And also an issue I ran into is these brown flower stem things here are like $5 a piece now. So I got all of ones. Anyway, you can see he's got a few different scenes in here. That's a good one. He's got the boneyard. He's got the little guy that beat the crap out of the other one. The watering hole. All this stuff from 2001. You know, where they're uh, worshipping the monor monolith. And the monolith is apparently the correct 1x4x9, which is pretty awesome and a nice little touch. So, if we open MLCAD here, you can see the base model. Built it quite a while ago. I threw it in with the that massive haul I did a while, not too long ago. Actually, it was posted today as of filming this. But I got all my pieces, put it together. It outputs the parts list for you. And then not many people know about this, but if you search around, you can find it. It's called Lego Instruction Creator. It'll take an ML cut without all the steps and stuff you have to do to generate it using the LDRAW bookmaker thing and just spit it out so you go to downloads here and it's got all the old versions and stuff but let's see if I can get the if you're interested in downloading it you can write that down let's see what else we got here sorry for rambling thought I built instructions for this it must not be saved in this folder. Anyway, I'll have to dig it out. But, I have all my bricks here in this happy little bag. So let's stop rambling and put it together. Alright, I guess I never made instructions for this, but here it is. Ran the program. Took, I don't know, two minutes. Anyway, one thing you gotta note is it doesn't do very well with base plates. It'll get to the like where it's rendering the parts list page and just sit there and do nothing. So you gotta delete those. But other than that it works awesome. Alright, here we got her all built. Got the little monkeys at the water there. Or apes I guess. I don't know what there are, but anyway. You got the ones around the boneyard, investigating, about to come up with the whole thing that the monorail is trying to put into their heads about picking up weapons and tools and such. There's one that done beat the hell out of that one. Stole his water. Here they are, praying and investigating to the monolith. The mound looks pretty good. The green is alright. It's not as good as the brown, but it looks 
decent, I think. In the back. A little detail. Anyway. This will make a nice little addition to my 2001 and 2010 collection. Thanks again to Jason A. Adeline, or however you pronounce his last name, for the pictures and inspiration. Post your questions, comments, complaints, concerns down below. Just remember to keep it real, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.